Hey, what's going on? Another quick video. This one on my Elite Engineering uh, Ultra catch can on my ZL1. Just a quick overview and we'll just swing down here real quick. Uh, but before I cover the catch can, uh, I wanted to show that I do have this supercharger coolant reservoir expansion tank that I added. I actually added about 500 miles on the car because the actual connection, which this one right here on my stock connection broke at 500 miles. Uh, um, Here's the uh, stock part, and I guess this is how they normally would fill the uh, supercharger coolant. But this piece came separated. It's not a connector, it's bonded plastic or something. Broke, uh, coolant came out of my supercharger. Thankfully, it uh, didn't ruin anything. But I figured instead of messing with the dealer, I would go ahead and just order this. Supercharger Coolant Reservoir, LSA version 2 and it actually replaced that component that broke so it worked out pretty nicely but the big thing about that is it does take the general location where most catch cans on this platform get installed which would be right in this general area right here so i actually had to go with a front mount near the radiator installation requires a little bit more uh bracket finesse but less hose so kind of works out but anyways, a quick overview, um, directions, and there are some videos out there, but uh, what you do is you have to pull the uh, supercharger lid off. I think mean, it's 17 10 millimeter bolts. Um, once you take the lid off, make sure you clean everything up on the supercharger, on the lid, and actually on the underside of the lid, there is a steel plate that's screwed in. And I removed that, it's a sound ending plate, so I removed that to get a little bit more of the supercharger wine. Um, so I go ahead and save that part, but then once you have the lid off, you expose to, I believe, 20 more 10 millimeter bolts. They're supposed to be one use only, um, so make sure you order new bolts. The gaskets can be reused. They look fine for me. So uh, you have to get all the bolts out. The last ones don't really come out very easy. I left them in and just backed them out as far as I could. And then you have to bring up the supercharger a good four to six inches. And that's so you can get access to the PVC valve that is kind of hard to see, but uh, it's uh, down there somewhere. But yeah, hard to see because it's underneath the supercharger. And the only reason you, you'll pull that out and then you'll put on the Elite Engineering replacement PVC valve that has a hose barb connection on it. And uh, for me, I couldn't screw it in because the hose barb actually protruded too far and would hit the water pump. So I actually had to dremel down. So I'll uh, show a quick photo of uh, what I did to get it to fit so I could actually spin it into place. And then I connected this hose here and I kind of ran it directly to the center and lip port right here. Um, I have it zip tied up to this piece right here to hold it away from pulleys, so it doesn't touch anything. It's out of the way. Hose is pretty short. Um, pretty simple overall. And then you want to tap in, I believe it's off the brake booster line or whatever. I didn't want to hack into my stock hose, so I could go back to stock if I wanted. And I actually picked up from a guy on YouTube. He had a set of these quick connects that snaps in here, tees into another quick connect that goes to the factory connection, and then has another quick connect with a hose barb uh, that quick connects into the quick connect that I can add to the hose. So I installed it here into the quick connect, which then snaps into place here. So if I need to, I can disconnect this, remove this little quick connect fitting, take the factory piece, buckle it right back in, I haven't spliced or teed anything like the directions mentioned. And then of course, with the uh, catch can, you want to have the uh, check valves flowing away from the can. And since this is a three port, doesn't matter which out port, which goes away on the two out ports, they're, they're swappable, so it doesn't matter. And then I ran the one to the intake and I actually had to, I believe it was a drilled and tapped it at a half inch screwed in this little uh, hose fitting barb here. 
Um, it's pretty tight. I put thread tape on it as well, but I may, I may add some of that plastic JB Weld stuff just to double check it. When I did install the catch can, I did the Rotofab intake at the same time, and this felt like it was a pretty clean, um, not too messy looking install. Right now I have the hose kind of going underneath this wire connector. I may reroute it around, but I mean, it lays pretty flush. It doesn't seem like it's gonna cause any issues. And then if you see the can here, it's just off the fan um, plastic frame here. And uh, it's pretty good. Here's the, you can kind of see the uh, metal mount points I use here. This is, I got both of these from Elite Engineering. Uh, I believe this is the extra long. And then this is, I forgot what they called it, but I'm hooked off of this coolant hose connection point right here. Um, and one thing I did notice, uh, I probably could sink this down or drop this down a little bit further, but any lower and I may come into some more contact issues, but I did have to pull the rain guard off. Um, so I don't drive the car in the rain car mostly sits I drive it very infrequently but if you do have uh, a lot of rain driving you probably want to sink this down further so you can leave the rain guard on and uh, close the hood um, I could close the hood with the rain guard on before I connect the hoses as soon as I put the hoses on I of course couldn't close the hood so one thing to note another thing to note is there is a hose pipe connector thing here that plugs in right there kind of see it and I had to un of course pop that out and push it down it doesn't get close to anything it's only so I could fit the can down otherwise it would try sitting on top of it and it would be sticking up like that high so anyways this is just a quick rundown of my elite engineering ultra can which is the larger can it's for a more high higher horsepower setup I don't have the higher horsepower setup yet I plan to down the road and I figured I'd just get the better one now instead of having to pay for two, upgrade later, etc. Anyways, once again, another quick video, just showing off how the Elite Catch Can Ultra can be front mounted. It fits. So far, it seems like it's been working pretty good. No leaks, have been no issues, no oil puking anywhere. I haven't checked the can yet because I've only put like 20 miles on it. <laughs> and it does have a quick drain, uh, peacock whatever plug at the bottom with a little small rubber hose that I can then drain from without having to uninstall the entire can. Um, so there it is. And, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I uh, have a few more coming up here pretty soon. Uh, believe I'll be hitting up the carbon fiber interior pieces and, uh, I believe a radar, uh, blend mount radar install as well. So stay tuned. Peace.